Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with English Sports Center and this is your weekly fishing report, guys. So, let's get started right now. I know everybody's been talking about uh, white perch that is still going on in most parts of the state. Uh, as we're moving on right now into later into the month now, things are warming up. Water temperatures did get pretty warm the past week when we had, you know, nice weather. We had some days in the high 70s or mid 70s. Uh, the thing is, most of your rivers on the lower eastern shore uh, are pretty much going to be past the peak. They're still going to find a few perch, but really what's happening is the more you move up north towards the Chester, Sassafras, uh, the, even the Susquehanna, some of these rivers on the western shore, they might get a few fish in there. And even one of the lower ones in the Patuxent, they're still getting a good amount of numbers of perch. We are on the wind down. So what that means is you're not saying that you won't catch any. It's just they're moving out. You know, there's multiple different waves of fish. Uh, and, of course, fish are tide movements. Uh, if you're fishing some of these rivers like, you know, Marshy Hope, Nanny Coke, Pocomoke, you're still going to catch a few, like I mentioned. It's just winding down. So what is up next? As we get into these upper 50, 60 degree water temperature in some of these creeks, we start to see shad. Uh, not your typical mud shad. Those are not you know, migratory uh, spawning fish. They kind of sit there most of the time. They're really resident fish. We're talking about hickory and American shad. So this is the time to get out there now. Uh, of course, we're gonna have some rain here up this upcoming weekend. Which, you know, we're kind of sitting here thinking it's going to mess things up. But a lot of these species, especially shad, they need that uh, kind of like flooding stages to move up the creek. So it's not going to be necessarily bad. Yes, it will kind of mess things up for one or two, three days. And then after that, even if you have murky water, you must still get those fish to bite. The following weekend, I will say, uh, as soon as that water starts to kind of clear up a little bit, it's going to be on fire. Uh, especially with the mild temperatures we're going to be getting not like last week but they're going to be getting a little bit better uh there's some break with the wind here in the next week a uh, few days and that's going to be great for you guys trying to get out there for some of those last catch and release striped bass you know trophy sized fish um before this week uh you know when we got the wind and all of that there was some nice days things were a little bit tough and remember guys these fish kind of come in here and spawn a little bit earlier and earlier every year because of the mild temperatures. So having those nice, beautiful days with 70 degree water temperature, I mean, uh, temperatures out there, uh, I wouldn't say it hurt, but those fish are moving up to spawn. They feel that change, they feel the water warming, and they push up the rivers. Um, so remember, we have limited areas where we can fish. We're not allowed to fish for them in some of these spawning uh, creeks and rivers. So we only have them out here in the middle of the bay. Now, get out there because there is a break in the wind. So if you can get on some walk-ons, get out on there on your boat, or even chunk some bait off the beach here at Sandy Point or anywhere you like to choose to do it, there's going to be some fish moving around. Now, talking about that, bottom fishing, catfish, it's that time of the year. The past week or so, we've been getting a lot of good reports from local guys here right outside the mouth of the Magathy at Predicory Point, even inside a little bit in the mouth of the Magathy around Mount Point. Um, even surf fishing guys, like fishing from the beach, are tearing up the blue cats. Now, obviously, once again, you want some sort of tide movement, cut LY, any kind of cut bait on the bottom, eel, spot, obviously the fresher the better, but even if you don't have it, use some frozen bait. Just don't let it sit out there and let those juices and scent come out. Cut it out, cut it up frozen, put it through the hook and throw it out there. Now, if you're from the beach, obviously you're gonna need a couple ounces to get it out there, one, two, three ounces, depending on the wind. And if you're out there at Pedicory, anywhere from 20 to 30 foot, get right on that edge, anchor up and throw some, uh, you know, cut bait on the bottom, you'll tear them up. There was some fish up to 30 pounds. I'm sure there's some bigger ones out there. So every little helps. Make sure you know you take them home and eat them because they're delicious. Um, other than that, out on the beach, I know it's kind of weird to talk about it right now, but black drum. Uh, we're starting to see a few on the Chincoteague side. Uh, whenever people can actually hold bottom out there, 
So those fish are there. This is a time frame when you want to try when you get a window and those fish are going to be anywhere from, you know, 10 to 50 plus pounds. Uh, sand fleas, fish bites and all that is what you want to use. So in the next week or two, we should be seeing more of those black drum hitting the beach in Assateague, anywhere from Chingateague all the way to our, st our side of the state in Assateague. So that's it for your fishing report, guys, and you guys have a good one.